Hi. Wow. <laughs> Chico, you're already here. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. I appreciate you waiting for me. Thanks so much. Hi, people. It's another beautiful day. I am excited. I know you are too. You're welcome to my channel. This is Skin Illustrations with Cindy. You're welcome to my channel. Please let me know that you have joined. Drop a message. Say hi. Say hello. Let me know that you are here. Yes. I am waiting. I'm waiting. You're welcome. Thanks so much. Today is another beautiful day. And guess what? It rained here in Lagos. It rained. It rained. And it was very massive. You know, it hasn't rained for, for like almost three weeks. So today's rain was something else. But funny enough, the sun is up. So everything has dried. Yes, Femi, you are welcome. Femi Akimbola, thanks so much for logging in. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate your finding time to be with me. This is Kane Illustrations with Cindy. Yes, Chamax, I can see you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. In your state, I appreciate you supporting me. I wouldn't take you guys' support for granted. Yes, we were here yesterday and we treated tips on a healthy and glowing skin. And today, we will be dwelling on how to natural remedies for flawless face. A lot of people have issues maintaining their faces. So I was like, okay, let me drop these tips on how you can have a flawless face at the very comfort of your home without breaking the bank, okay? Yes, I, over time, I've been able to enjoy my face. I've been able to have a very flawless face. And I said, okay, let me drop some of the natural remedies I used in achieving that. So if you are just joining us, I would like you to drop a message saying I am here skin illustrations you are not alone then if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click on that subscription button and share this link so that your friends can join in if you belong to any whatsapp group go ahead and drop this link so that people can join in and learn one or two things okay yes Marcus, I can see you. Thanks so much. This kiss is for you. I understand your schedule and for you to be here, I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much. Marcus was also my high college classmate. Yes, she resides in Lagos once in a while. We see each other. Marcus, thank you so much. <laughs> I can have Presido. So Presido, Toilet, I did heal. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. This is Kane Illustrations with Cindy. Today, I'll be dropping some tips on natural remedies for a flawless face. Please go ahead and like this video. Click on the like button. Let people know that you like this video. Thanks so much, Marcus. I am sure you are glad to be here. Please stay till the end. I know you will run out. 
Yeah. So I think uh, I can start now. I can start now. I can see good number of join. So let's run. Okay. So you can actually have a flawless face. And the truth is that you can achieve it with natural remedies. Yes, you mustn't buy the chemicals that are in the market. I'm not saying that using chemicals are bad. There are safe ones. There are safe artificial creams. There are safe artificial lotions. There are safe stuffs in the market. But today I am dwelling on natural remedies for a beautiful face. Okay? So I I wouldn't say you guys should bring, you have to pay attention. At least pick two or three of the remedies I'm going to draw. When I tell you the remedy, I will tell you if it is for oily skin, sensitive skin. A sensitive skin, what a sensitive skin would do in that situation or how a sensitive skin person should use such a remedy. I don't know how many of us that have seen that no rose water. Growing up, my elder sister introduced rose water to me and ever since then it's been a constant in my home. I use rose water even for some of my productions. So you can obtain a flawless face naturally by using rose water. How will you combine that to be able to get a flawless result? You get two tablespoons of your rose water. I didn't say teaspoon two tablespoons of your rose water yes cheesy thanks so much chi chi thanks so much for joining in i appreciate your presence please if you are new to my channel i would like you to say i am new here and let me welcome you with a kiss before i start i need to apologize on something i told you guys yesterday that in my next live video that I'll be announcing winners of my freebies. I am very, very, very sorry. That will not happen today. Why? My driver left with the stuffs in the car. And I don't know when he will get back here. If he gets back here before I end this stream, I will let you guys know. But if not, it will be in my next live video. Please, I am very, very sorry for that. I actually forgot to bring out the stuffs from the car when I alighted. I am so sorry. So please, if it makes it back here before I end this live video, I will let you guys know. If not, it will be in my next live video. So please forgive me, okay? Thank you. You know, we all are aging. I'm getting old and I am forgetting little by little. So please, I'm so sorry for that. So please, let's start running. So I said you can get your rose water, two tablespoons full of your rose water, then one teaspoon of your lemon juice. When you get your lemon, you squeeze out the juice. When you want to get your lemon, get lemon that is already ripe. The back is yellow and a little bit soft. Or you, when you get it, hit it on the ground so that it gets softer. By the time you, you squeeze it, you get more juice. I'm telling you guys what I do. You hit it on the floor so that it softens a bit. When you now put it in your squeezer, the juice comes out more. So you use one teaspoon of your lemon juice. Yes, Lisbeth Tosin. 
Thanks so much for joining us. I sincerely appreciate your being here. And if you are new, this kiss is from me to you. Thanks so much. We are talking on natural remedies for flawless face. And I said you can use your rose water, two tablespoonful of your rose water, then you add one teaspoonful of your lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice, if you can't, if you don't have a lemon juice available in the house, you can use five to six drops of olive oil. Mix that together. Okay? Mix that together and you use it on your face. Apply it on your face and leave it on your face for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse off. It will help clear your face. You know, rose water is a very good skin toner. It tones your skin, clears out scars, and leaves your face flawless. Also, uh, rose water balances your skin pH level and helps in improving circulation, okay? Rose water also helps in healing acne scars and other marks on your skin. Likewise, lemon juice is also very good. It contains antioxidant property and helps in maintaining your face and clearing scars. Also, lemon juice is also very good in lightening your face a little bit. So this is our first remedy that you can use to maintain a flawless face. Also, you can use turmeric to have a flawless face. Turmeric is like ginger. It is yellow in color. Turmeric is one of the ingredients we have in curry. It contains cockmi and is a very good exfoliator. Turmeric, you can get one tablespoon of your natural yogurt, not sweet yogurt, the one that sugar has not been added to. You get one tablespoon of that yogurt, then you get quarter tablespoon of your turmeric, turmeric powder, not turmeric, not, uh, not the turmeric root, the turmeric powder. You mix that together. I'm going to repeat that one tablespoonful of your yogurt and quarter teaspoon of your turmeric powder. Mix that together. Use it to form a paste. It's going to be a very smooth paste. If you can't get, you can't make your own turmeric powder, you can get that from the market. But trust your sauce. You have to be careful here. Most times they mix other things into it and they sell so that it will have volume. So you have to trust your sauce. But if you want to make your own turmeric at home, what you are going to do, get that turmeric root, dice it into pieces, put it inside a pot and boil it for 40 minutes. Under low heat. When you finish boiling your turmeric, strain out the water. Then sun dry the turmeric and blend. Please, you are going to take out the back first before you dice. Take out the back of the turmeric, then dice. Boil for 40 minutes, strain out the water and sun dry the turmeric and blend. That is your turmeric powder. But if you know you won't have time to make your turmeric, you can get from a trusted source and mix with your yogurt, not sweetened yogurt, plain yogurt. Mix it, use it to form a paste and apply it, rub it in and leave it on your face for between 12 and 15 minutes. Then wash off with a tepid water, okay? 
that will also help in clearing acne marks and also help in healing your face turmeric is very very good it's a must have in every home it's a very good agent that you must have in your home it's good in scrubs good in facials good in body you can use it also on your body it is a very good powder to have at home if you are just joining us this is skin illustrations with cindy please when you join drop a note that i'm here and let me know if you are new so that i welcome you properly today we are dwelling on natural remedies for a flawless face many of us have issues with our faces using a lot of products to make sure that our faces are smooth today we are doing it in organic way how you can maintain that beautiful face of yours take it stay, make, make it stay out of pimples and acne out of blackheads using natural remedies okay so this is skin illustration i am excited to be here and i'm happy that you found time to join me in today's video so i said you can use yogurt and turmeric powder mix that together use it to form a paste apply it on your face and leave it for between 12 and 15 minutes wash up with tepid water and you with that you can have your flawless face you can do that every every other day yes you can do that every other day to get the result that you so desire okay guys okay guys and our third remedy is sandalwood sandalwood powder sandalwood is another powder you have to have in the house it's a brownish in color and smooth and smells good sandalwood smells good i also use it a lot in some of my productions get uh, for your flawless face you have to get chickpea flour i'm so hungry but we have to continue i'm so sorry please let's continue let me know that you are here please i am i sincerely apologize for that sorry i have to take this call Hello? Hello? Okay. Yes, there's someone calling me to tell me I suddenly stopped seeing you. Please, I'm so sorry for that. I don't know why. I will be using two network companies and they will be disappointing me. Please, if you are in Nigeria, and you know of a good network company that you can suggest to me please i am begging help me i am tired i don't want to call the network providers names please but i am tired i want to have my live video and without interruptions it can be very annoying you know please i'm so so sorry let's continue now all the people that were here that wanted to learn one or two things have left out of frustration please i am so sorry let's start again today i am talking about natural remedies for flawless face i think i was on i've given first two remedies i was on the third one when suddenly I went blank. So the third remedy is sandalwood powder. 
and chickpea, chickpea ground flour. Chickpea is also very uh, is brownish in color. You will get it with uh, your sandal wood mixed together with rose water. Okay, I'm so sorry. I sincerely apologize. Please help me tell your friends that I'm back on. I'm so sorry for that. And the funniest thing, it kept saying I was live. Meanwhile, it wasn't showing me. Okay, so you mix your sandalwood powder with your chickpea ground flour. Mix it together with rose water. If you have a, a an acne prone skin, please use rose water. But if your skin is sensitive, add little milk to it. Okay, and form a paste and apply it on your face. You have to also leave it on for about 10 15 minutes and uh, you can wash off. You can do this once a week and you get that flawless face that you desire. Also, some people react to milk or dairy. Please, if you react to that, don't use it. Use rose water instead. Okay? Please, if you are just joining, please let me know that you are here. And if you are watching me, please go ahead and Share this link. Let your friends know that I am online. Please, please, I'm so sorry for what happened. I don't know why this has been happening for some time now. It happened yesterday too, and today again. I have to get to the nip of it and tackle it head on. Okay? I hate interruptions. Seriously, I sincerely hate to be interrupted when I'm doing something. Okay, so today I am talking on natural remedies for flawless face. And I said in my last remedy that you can use sandalwood powder and chickpea gram flour. Mix that together with rose water and apply it on your face. Leave it on for some minutes and wash off. Okay. Then yogurt, you can also use yogurt for flawless face maintenance. Get one or two tablespoon, sorry. Get one or two tablespoon full of your plain yogurt. Please, not sweetened yogurt. Plain yogurt. That's what you need for this. You apply that on your face and leave it on for about 10 minutes. Yogurt is very, very good for your face. It helps in unclogging pores and it also helps in reducing pore sizes. If you have, if you have, uh, let's say, uh, open pores on your face, yogurt can help close it up, okay? So yogurt is very good. It's also a very good exfoliator. It's good in exfoliating dead skin cells. Also, it tightens your face and makes your face stay without blemishes. Yogurt is also a very good treatment for acne and pimples. Okay? You know your gut contains natural oils. Here in Lagos, I usually get Habib yogurt. Habib yogurt is very good, fresh and sugar free. You can ask them to give you the one that is plain. It's very good. Also, I think Hana also sell good ones. You can also get it in spas. You can see it in a Shoprite and Park and Shop Hubmans. They have plain yogurt. Just tell them that you want plain yogurt. You don't want the sweetened one. You can apply it on your face. It's also a very good moisturizer. Okay? I am not happy 
a lot of people that joined in before have left. Please come back on, come back on. Cindy is here so that we can run, okay? Please come back on. Let me know that you are here. Let me know that you are here. And the moment that you join, please just say hello. Let me know that you are here. Today we are talking on natural remedies for a flawless face. If you want that face to pop, if you want that face to look good, if you want that face to be irresistible, please go on and use one or two of these remedies to obtain that beautiful face that you want and to maintain that face okay okay so please i want more people to join in before i continue if you are just joining this is skin illustrations with cindy okay so today i am talking on how you can maintain a flawless face using natural remedies. Yes, please let me know when you're joining, just drop a comment so that I will know you are here. Okay. Yeah, 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 you're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks so much for finding time out of your busy schedule to be here. We are unstoppable. Nothing stops us. Okay, guys, nothing stops us. We are moving train. We cannot be stopped. Please let me know you have joined back on so we run. Okay guys. So I another remedy that you can use to obtain a flawless face is using sugar scrub. Sugar is a very good components to be used on the face. I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't stop. I would continue. My mom will always say, a person dies, but never surrenders. I wouldn't surrender. I wouldn't give up because this happened. Please, if you know anyone that have been here, please help me tell the person to come back on and back. I'm back here, okay? Yes, yes, I'm trying to let some people know that I am back on. Okay, guys, so we are here. We have refused to surrender, okay? I'm not giving up. We must go on. Yes, I want you guys to know what I know so that you will be able to stand anywhere and maintain that beautiful face that you have. Okay, guys. So, another Remedy, yes, more people are coming on now. Thanks so much. Let me know that you are here. Let me know that you are here, okay? Okay, let me know that you are here. Yes, okay. Angli says, I am here now. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Please support your girl. 
It's not easy in this Nigeria, but we must make it. Okay? We must make it. We must make it. Yes, yes, yes. I said you can also use sugar scrub for maintenance of a flawless face. You can use white sugar or, or brown sugar depending on the one that you have. A tablespoon of each, you can mix the white sugar and the brown sugar. Brown sugar is actually smoother than the white. What I do, if I want to still get that smooth texture, I usually blend the white sugar all over again and have it smoother and finer. Okay? So, you can use both or you use either of them. Use it, add a little bit of water to form a paste and use it to apply on your face. Leave it for two to three minutes. You are actually going to use it as a scrub. Okay, it's a scrub. It's good in treatment of sunburn and opening up pores, clogged pores of your face. Leave it for two to three minutes and wash up with cool water. Okay, guys, wash up with cool water and you are good to go. You can do that four, five, six times in a week and you are fine. Sugar is also a very good exfoliator. Sugar is also a very good exfoliator and it helps in removing dead skin cells from your skin. Also, it takes out excess salts, excess oils from your face and clears your skin from impurities. Also, because it is an exfoliator, it helps in improving blood circulation of your skin. Okay guys, so that's another remedy for a flawless skin. And I said you can use that over and over four five six times in a week you are good to go another remedy is using papaya papaya is purple purple is very good for the face it's very good for the face and can be used when you get to ripe purple, please not on not on ripe one, ripe purple. I love purple a lot. I eat it a lot. I always have it. It's also a very good fruit for whitening of skin. I'll be making a video soon on fruits that help in whitening your skin. Fruits that when you take them will help to improve your skin color. So stay tuned to this channel. I have a lot of surprises, a lot of big, big packages for you guys. Okay? I am open to researches. I make a lot of researches and I read a lot. So anything I tell you guys here, it's remedy or treatment that have been tested and trusted okay guys so if you are just joining us this is skin illustrations with Cindy I'm talking on remedies for a flawless face natural remedies that you can use to maintain a flawless face and I said you can use purple purple is also called papaya Papaya is actually the botanical name for purple, Karika papaya. Okay, so get about two to three pieces of purple, just tiny, uh, small, small pieces like this remote size, a cut of it, then about two to three pieces of it, mash together, 
just to form a kind of smooth, not too smooth paste. Then apply it on your face. Leave it on for about 10 minutes and wash off with cold water. Okay, you can do this once a week and you have that flawless face that you want to flaunt. Okay, yeah, and the next remedy is use of raw milk, not evaporated milk, raw milk. When you see this full anise milking, get the extracted milk from cows. When they are extracting milk from cows, you that's the that's the raw milk I'm talking about. I don't know if we have raw milk in stores here in Nigeria, but I know you can get raw milk from these Fulani women. Okay, so two tablespoons of your raw milk. Apply it with a cotton ball on your face and leave it on for 10 to 12 minutes and rinse off. That can also help to give you that flawless face that you want. Okay, raw milk, use a cotton ball, apply it on your face and leave on for about 10 minutes. Wash up with cold water and you have that beautiful face that you desire. Another remedy is ACB, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is also very good in opening up clogged pores of your face. Get one, tablespoon, one teaspoon of your ACB, get two teaspoons of your rose water and your cotton ball. Mix the ACB and your rose water together. Use that cotton ball. That means this remedy is very good for people with black heads, acne, and pimples. What you would do, get that uh, cotton ball, dab it into the, the ACB and rose water mixture and apply it on that very spot where you have black heads, okay? I can see more people are joining in. Thank you so much. Thanks for trusting me. Thanks for supporting me. I am so, so happy. Thanks so much for coming back to join in this live video. And I promise you guys that you're going to learn so much from today's video. So I said you can use apple cider vinegar and rose water, the mixture of it, to clear your face and have that flawless face that you desire okay mix the two together one teaspoon of acb and two teaspoons of your rose water mix that together with a cotton ball dab it into the the mixture and apply on the areas that you want to clear the blemishes because of the vinegar in the ACV, because of the vinegar in the ACV, it helps in exfoliating pigmented areas of your skin, areas of your skin that have pressures. And it's also very good in lightening scars and blemishes on your face, okay? Also, ACV contains antioxidants that helps in improving your skin health. So you know what I'm talking about, and it's also antibacterial, okay? How you make your ACV, it's by getting apples. The last one I made, I used red apples. You cut it and put in a container is actually i will teach you guys how to make it in one of these videos so that i don't confuse you or you go do it wrongly i'm going to make a video on how you can make your acv in your home 
you just leave it to ferment for some weeks and you strain out and you have your ACV. And when you are getting your apple cider vinegar, make sure that it's the one with mother. You will see it written on the body. It's apple cider vinegar with mother. Make sure that the one you are getting is the one with mother. And the one I'm going to teach you guys how to make is the one with mother, okay? So, apple cider vinegar, the vinegar in it is very good. It contains antioxidants and helps in clearing blemishes on your skin. It also contains astringent properties that helps in toning your skin. So, it is good for your flawless face, okay? It also helps in improving your complexion. It can tone up your skin and make you look fairer. Okay? So, mixture of ACV with your rose water. If you like, you can add a little bit of aloe vera gel into the mix. Just about a teaspoon of aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is very good in moisturizing of the skin and it's also very good in clearing blemishes from your face okay so that's it that's it that's it we are moving on i am grateful that you guys found time to join back on i will do something about this network issue definitely it has gotten to this place and i am vexed i hate being pushed to the wall I've been pushed to the wall. Here, yes, someone suggested a spectranet. I'm going to give them a try. Maybe they may be my solution. Okay? So, I said, apologize for what happened. And another remedy that you can use to obtain your flawless face is use of alum powder. Alum powder. I use alum powder in yes in my video i used alum powder when i was making my whitening body scrub if you want to know what alum powder looks like i used that in that video i used alum powder in that video so i alum powder it's also very good in maintaining a flawless face how do you combine that? You get one teaspoon of aloe powder, add one tablespoon of honey to eat. Honey is also a must have if you want a flawless face and flawless skin. Mix both together and use it as a face mask. Okay? Leave it on on your face for about 10 minutes. And wash off with tepid water, okay? It's very good in tightening your face and closing up pores on your face. It also has healing property. Honey has a healing property. Likewise, alum powder. It's also antibacterial and can make you stay away from infection. Okay, also another remedy is aloe vera. Someone says I don't pronounce it well, aloe vera. Okay, hope I try today. <laughs> when you get your aloe vera, if you have the plant, beautiful, get the plant. I've taught you guys how to cut it. Just take out that zigzag line part, the tiny part that can tear your skin, just cut it out. With a sharp object and open the aloe vera get out the gel like content of the aloe vera that's what you need okay just use it to apply on your face aloe vera is very very beautiful to be used if you want to have a flawless face okay apply it and leave it on for at least an hour you know do you know that face primer that we use on our face as an emollient 
it contains aloe vera gel yes aloe vera gel is actually the base for face primer and you know the feeling you have when you use a face primer you you feel moisturized your face relaxes and you you have this cooling effect like someone poured water on your face yes that's what aloe vera does i'm trying to convince you that your face primers contain aloe vera so that same thing is what we are going to do get aloe vera gel apply it on your face and leave it on for about an hour then wash up with cool water it's very good you can scrape out that aloe vera gel and store in a tight container if you don't have access to aloe vera plant you can get it from a cosmetic shop but please make sure that the one you are getting is trusted okay when a product is not good it will not work okay guys yes thank you so much if you are just joining please drop a comment let me know that you are here okay let me know that you are here that i am not alone okay i'm so sorry for what happened i think i i i i will get over it okay but i was so disappointed then another remedy is use of coconut oil coconut oil <laughs> coconut oil is very very good for obtaining and maintaining of a flawless face and please i'm going to stress it again when you want to get that coconut oil make sure that the coconut oil you are getting is cold pressed coconut oil okay few drops of your coconut oil just apply it on your face use it to moisturize your face you can apply it every night and sleep with it okay repeat it every night and you have that flawless face that you desire coconut oil is very good for its antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory property it also contains antioxidant properties and it's a very good moisturizer it will moisturize your face and make your face look young make your face look attractive and clear out spots and blemishes from your face okay another remedy is castor oil castor oil is actually got from the seed of castor from castor seed yes castor oil is also very very good for flawless face you need about two to three drops of castor oil in hot water okay steam your face with that mixture just place your face in in the mixture in the put it in a bowl put about two to three drops of castor oil and put your hot water cover your head with a towel and steam your face in that bowl okay just cover your face and steam it for about two to three minutes and you will see that your skin will look awesome okay okay guys steam, steam your face with that mixture and you will be good to go okay and when you finish you can also apply that castor oil on your face and leave it overnight it's also very good you can do this once in four or five days and you'll be fine okay yes if you are just joining us this is skin illustrations with cindy today i am talking on natural remedies for a flawless face you can have that flawless face that you desire using any of these remedies okay castor oil is rich in fatty acids and it's a very good emollient 
It also helps in locking up moisture. That means it contains moisturizing effects, okay? It has moisturizing effects. And it also helps in restoring the natural oils of your skin, natural sebum of your face. Castor oil will help in restoring it and in maintaining it. It also, another great thing that castor oil does is that it helps in improving collagen production of your skin and of your face and helps in making your skin smoother and softer okay so you must consider this remedy if you actually want to have a face to die for <laughs> yeah this is skin illustrations with Cindy. i kind of lost my voice and i'm straining it a little bit but i'll be fine Yes, I'll be fine. I've got a strap seals. I'll take it afterwards. I'll be fine. I know that. Then another remedy for a flawless face is rose hip oil. You can use rose, rose, rose hip oil. I beg your pardon. Rose hip oil for that flawless face. Okay? Just about uh, three to four drops of the oil. Just use it to pat your face and uh, leave it on on your face you can do that every two nights and uh, you'll be good to go rose hip oil is another good oil you can use to obtain that flawless face okay yes if you are just popping in please leave a comment except you have commented before that you are here please let me know that you are here okay yes almond oil is also very good in maintaining a flawless face two to three drops of almond oil just use it to massage into your face and leave it on so you can sleep with it and the next morning you wake up with a beautiful face okay almond oil is um emollient is an exfoliator it helps in rejuvenating your skin and it also helps in reducing appearances of wrinkles and fine lines on your face okay also is good in taking out scars and blemishes and marks on your face yes this is skin illustrations with cindy i'm glad that you found time out of your tight schedule to be here you are welcome once again i am dwelling on remedies for flawless face and i am giving us natural remedies remedies that you can use at the comfort of your home without breaking the bank and i said you can use about two to three drops of almond oil apply it on your face and leave it on your face overnight and the next morning you wake up with a beautiful and flawless face another remedy is green tea green tea green tea is also very very good for flawless face and for taking out clogged pores and blemishes from your face how you can use your green tea is when you get hot water you put about two or three bags of your green tea inside the hot water allow it to brew then strain out the water put in your ice tray and pop it into your freezer to block when it forms an ice block you bring it out take a cube of the ice block and use it to massage your face as you do that you are clearing out pores you are opening up pores you are moisturizing that face 
and you are making that face look flawless okay it's very very good it's another remedy for a beautiful face you can try that and give me a review on how it has worked on you okay i'm going to repeat it again when you have brewed two to three bags of your green tea strain out the water and put in your ice tray pop it into your freezer and have it blocked then bring out one of the cubes and use it to massage that beautiful face and you will have that skin that face that you love okay green tea contains antioxidants and it is very good in taking out scars and replenishes your skin cells okay then another remedy is use of garlic i eat garlic a lot if you don't like garlic boy i eat it a lot <laughs> if i eat garlic every day <laughs> i garlic is always found in my diet it's very good to be used just get a clove of garlic and crush it and apply it on areas that you have scars on your face leave it on for about five minutes and rinse off with tepid water and you are good to go okay garlic is good in spot treatment also very good in treatment of acne and scars it also contains antimicrobial property it helps in killing love bacteria on your face okay and it also lightens scars and lightens the skin so you know why it is found in my diet <laughs> also garlic it's also an exfoliator so you see what i'm talking about crush it apply it on your face then leave it on for a few minutes and wash off you will be fine it will help in clearing out those black spots and acne and lighten that scars on that face and you will be good to go okay so if you are looking forward to rocking your face without makeup, this is good for you. You can apply this remedy and enjoy that face that you have. Also, honey is another good agent for a flawless face. Get about one to two teaspoons of your honey and mix it with cinnamon powder cinnamon powder it's also very good in clearing out scars it's also good in exfoliating your face so mix the two together and form a paste with it apply on your face as a face mask and leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes okay then you wash off with clean water you can do this once or twice a week and you are good to go okay please remember to always use sunscreen and cover your face when you are going out don't expose that face to the sun so it doesn't damage your face okay honey it's good for glowing of the skin also good in toning the skin it is rich in nutrients healthy fats and contains antioxidants okay so you know why i'm using it here honey also helps in softening the skin and making your face smoother and supple okay so honey is a must use is a must go is a must have also there are some juices that you can use for a flawless face lemon juice i've mentioned that before is good you can use only lemon juice 
for maintenance of that flawless fix. Okay? Apply lemon juice on your face and leave it on for about 5 to 7 minutes. Then wash up with lukewarm water and you are good to go. So you can squeeze out lemon juice. I've told you guys how to squeeze out lemon juice. I said, get the one that is yellow, then put it on the floor to soften it before you squeeze out the juice. When you hit it on the floor and it's a little bit soft, you squeeze out more juice from it. So when you have that juice of yours, apply it on your face using a cotton ball. Okay guys, so apply that lemon juice on your face and leave it on for about 5 to 7 minutes and wash up with cool water and you are good to go okay then another juice is vegetable juice you can get about okay yes i the network tripped off again you can imagine that but this i must do okay i'm almost rounding up and i appreciate you guys for your patience for staying on Get about four pieces of carrots, finger carrots, small ones, not uh, too big. Then half inch of ginger. Then you have, add half cup of water to the mixture. You know what you're going to do? Cut your carrots into pieces. The same thing with your ginger. Cut them into pieces and blend them together with a half cup of water it will you have a very thick juice you can drink it have a chili in your refrigerator it's also very good for a flawless skin and flawless face okay i said get about four carrots with ginger about half inch of a long ginger and half cup of water Blend the carrot and the ginger with the water and drink the juice that you get. It's good because ginger and carrots contain antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds. They are also good sources of vitamins and minerals, okay? So it's good in improving your skin health and invariably your facial health okay so if you are just joining us this is skin illustrations with Cindy I am glad I am having this video I am unstoppable I'm a moving train nothing stops me okay <laughs> yes whatever Nigerian Network is doing to stop this live video is a no for me I must continue so um, you can also have your green juice by using cucumbers, lettuce, mint leaves. I don't know how many of us know mint leaves. It looks somewhat like scent leaf, but it's shorter than scent leaf and smells um, more concentrated, no, less concentrated than scent leaf. I think scent leaf has a stronger smell than mint leaf. It looks like mint leaf, but it's not mint leaf. So when you, it, it looks like mint scent leaf, but it's not scent leaf. So when you go to buy it, make sure they don't give you scent leaf in place of mint leaf. They are not the same thing, but they look alike. Mint leaf has shorter leaves than scent leaf. Scent leaf has broader leaves, broader leaves than mint leaf, okay? So, cucumber, lettuce, and a handful of your mint leaf, blend together, add little, about two tablespoons of your lemon juice, and drink. It's very, very good for, you can chill it, I like chilling my drinks so that the taste will not be somehow in my mouth, okay? It's very good in refreshing and restoring the skin. 
and also making the skin look younger and smoother. So another remedy you can use for having a flawless face is potato juice. Potato, Irish potato, it's a very wonderful ingredient for the face, okay? So what you're going to do, get a little of your potato and grate it. When you grate it, use a cheese cloth to, you know this cloth that we use in sieving pan, it's called cheese cloth. Use it, put this, uh, the grated potato in it and press it. The juice will come out. The juice is milkish in color. It's creamy in color and milky. That is what you need. Apply it on your face and let it dry on your face. Leave it on for about 10 to 12 minutes. Then wash off. It is also very, very good in giving flawless face. I've used it, I use it in some of my soap, especially my facial soaps. Irish potato juice is awesome. Okay, another juice that is also very good for the face is tomato juice. Tomato juice is also very good for your face face okay so get that tomato and squeeze it bring out the juice tomato contains anti-aging property and also act as sunscreen a lot of people don't know this you can use tomato juice for sunscreen okay it is very very good it contains antioxidant too and it is good in maintaining that flawless face that you desire. It helps in closing up pores, clog up pores, and it is very good for pimples. So if you have issues with pimples, you need tomato juice for that face. Okay? So chop your tomatoes, bring out the juice. You can also use uh, cheesecloth to also do that. Then apply it on your face, leave it on for about 10 to 12 minutes. Then wash off the tepid water. You can do that once in every five days or once in a week, but it will give you that flawless face that you so desire. Then another remedy is oats. Oats, it's also very good. Just get some tomato pulp, add one tablespoonful of yogurt to it, then add about two teaspoons of your oatmeal. Mix that together and use it to form a facial mask. You will be good, apply it on that face and you are good to go. Leave it on for about a few minutes and wash off. Oats is very, very good in brightening the skin and it's good in reducing dark spots, scars and blemishes on the face. It is also a very good cleanser and you know eating of oats meal is also good in weight loss, okay? It is also very good in suiting of inflammation and tightening of the skin. So guys, this is something you will have to do, okay? Then, um, rice water is also very good for the face. Rice water, I use rice water in some of my lightning soap production. Rice water, when you bring your rice, wash out the first water, then Put it back in another clean water and leave it on for about 15-20 minutes. Yes, squeeze it so that the, the uh, milkiness will come out. The water will be a little bit not too brown, dark cream. 
He has that cream, and that's what you need for what you want to do. Use it, you can use a cotton ball and use it to apply on your face. You leave it on for about 15 to 30 minutes and you can wash up afterwards and it is good in okay so i said get your rice water and use cotton ball dab the cotton ball into the water and apply on your face leave it on for about 15 to 30 minutes then wash up with tepid water and you are good to go okay you are good to go yeah 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 mm -hmm. yes 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 thanks so much thanks so much for joining me we are almost rounding up so i appreciate you guys for finding time to be here thank you so much for joining in today's live streaming. I appreciate you guys. I'm so sorry for the interruptions, but we got it up and we have finally come to the end of today's live video. Thank you so much. And please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit on that subscription button and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also share it to your friends, let them know that there are natural remedies they can use to obtain a flawless face, okay? Thank you so much and my driver didn't make it here. So I'll be announcing my winners in my next video. Thank you so much for you guys, thanks so much for your understanding, till next time. I still remain your girl, Cindy. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Yes, if you want me to handle a topic, please let me know. Just send me, or you can drop it in the comment section. Let me know what you want me to talk on, what topic you want me to treat, and I'm glad, I'll, I'll, I promise you I'm going to oblige that, okay? So till next time guys, I will see you, do have a beautiful evening, wherever you are, enjoy the rest of your day, bye, 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 bye.